Swagatam. Uh, today is uh, February 5th, February the 16th. So, Dinankaha, Shodash Dinankaha. Um, uh, let's do the Mangala Charanam. <coughs> Ramo Rajamani Sada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Vajay. Ramena Vihata Nishat Rachamu Rama at Asmainamaha. Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Rama Siraso Smyaham. Rame Chitsarya Sadabha Utame Vorama Mamudhara. Ram Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame. Sahasanama Tatulyam Rama Nama Varanane. Shri Rama Nama Varanana On Nama Iti. Ata Shri Maheshwar Sutrani. Vai Un Rurak Eong Ayaucha Ayavarat Lanya Nama Nga Na Nam Javang Gadadash. Jabba gada dash kapa cha 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 tav kapa i shasha sar hal iti mahasha sutra ni. So we are on page um, one uh, one one three on the bottom of the page. I want to make a correction from last time first of all, which I thought was correct, but I think there is a problem there. Last time we're looking at these, you know, chatvari pratipadikani. Um, Savanama Shabdaha, talking about idam vipratyakshagatam atva, even we had a Partha Veda, if you recall from last time, looking at the Partha Veda in some books, they put idam, idamastu, um, I think pratyakshagatam, um, samipavarti, um, I'm sorry, idamastu sannikrishtam, sannikrishtam, that's the Partha Veda, we did this all last time, idamastu sannikrishtam, which is very close by just close by. And then we had um, uh, here we have Pratyakshagatam, this is a part of Veda. Samipataravarti Chaitado Rupam. Those two were fine. As I said to you, these two are not very critical because they are all referring to something which is close to you. So uh, interpretation generally given is Samipataravarti which is closer is the Etado Rupam. But then here was I think where I made the mistake a little bit. Adasastu Viprakrishteo. If you look at, uh, I was looking actually for the Saturday class of, for what Bhim Singh Shastri Ji is saying, and I can give you, the, in fact, I can give you the page number also, uh, because when he talks about the other Shabdaha, I'm on page 4, 473 of the Bhaimi Vyaksha, volume 1, and he says, Adas Duravarti Padarthe Yatra Anguli Nirdesho Kartum Na Shakyate. Now in the class last time I think I made the statement Anguli Nirdesha Kartum Shakyate. Yajapi Duram Vartate Tathapi Anguli Nirdesha Kartum Shakyate. Now this is the problem I think with my, my English translation I think of. We talk about Anguli Nirdesha. In English we can say you can point to the object. You can point to it. But I think what, what he is meaning is what Anguli Nirdesha is you can, you can put your finger on the object. So that's why in, this is this is a term which I, think which I do, we use incorrectly. Anguli Nirdesha depends how to interpret that. The way Shastri Ji gives is that Anguli Nirdesha Kartum Na You're not able to put your finger on the item. Okay, so I'll take that statement back. The Anguli Nirdesha statement which I made for others, that is not correct. Um, so in the case of others, basically Anguli Nirdesha Kartum Na means Pashtum Na you cannot touch that object. It is far away from you. I think when they say Anguli Nirdesha means it should be within here, you know, kind of within contact, within contact. So, uh, like I say, as I said, the best example for, for others is Asa Vadityaha, you know, Brahma or whatever is this um, well-known statement. So the, this is the sun. Or that, in, in English, it is the, see, the problem here comes is that both others and Sat in English use that, of that. But the others is, you know, it is the... Uh, Dushti gochara, Dushti gochara it is it is within your sight. While the tad is tu parokshe vijaniyat. Of course, that I said is the most important thing. Is tad tu parokshe vijaniyat is the most important thing because a lot of people, you know, when somebody is uh, a paroksha, even that time they say they use tad. It's because the forms are easy to use. People say, you know, savadati, sagachati. When you can see that person, you know. That is, that is, you should definitely for watch out for that. So this, this part was correct. But in English you would say, you know, that or she or he, um, 
But here also you would say you would use tat in English for others, which is something which is far away. So the only change from last time is that the statement which I made about Anguli Nirdeshaha is I think not correct because Anguli Nirdesh, I think what they are saying is that the it means that you can touch it within 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 contact, you know. So this is not within contact. Hub. So we'll take that back for the others. Uh, so I could see um, because I was, I was reading this and I saw that. So of course, any time we see any mistakes, please point out to me. Um, so Bhaimi Vyakya, because we are all we're trying to do here as a class is to record this as clean as possible. Um, so volume one from page 473. Um, page 473. Okay, so that's what we were talking about last time. Uh, nothing, I mean the English part was all fine, everything was fine. So others is something which is far away from you, but you can see it. And most importantly, tat should not be used unless it is parokshe. Okay, now coming to the bottom of this page 133, the last part is talking about this word from kati, sati, and yati. Okay, let's look at one sutram here, 5241, from 5241. Let's look at a sutram, that's the sutram that we need here. Mm, 5.2.41. Okay. To form the, to get the form Kati. Kati means how, is a, how many, how many, how many. Um, uh, 5.2.41. Okay. So, Kimaha Sankhya Parimane Dati Cha. Sankhya Parimane means you want to know how many there are. Um, Sankhya Yaha Parimanam means the size of the, um, size of that group. Um, Sankhyaya Parimanam, Sankhya Parichyadaha. Parichyadaha means you put a number on it. Sankhya Parichyadaha. Ityartha means how much is it? How many, how many there are? Sankhya Parimane Vartamana Kimaha. Prathama Samarthat Asya Iti Shashtiarthe Jatihi Pratyaya Bhavati Chakarad Vatup. So Chakarad Vatup. So you can get um, you can get the Jati Pratyaha, you can also get Vatup. So these, these two will be coming. So right now we look at the Jati Pratyaha. So you can also get the Padivadikam Kiyat and you can also get the Padivadikam Kati. Um, if you want to read it in, in English, you look at 5.2.41, the Sutra number 5.2.41. Again, right now in the Antoine book, he's not deriving it for us. I just want to give you the, um, so the affix Jati, which means of course, Chutu, so Adya Dakar Sanya um Tasya Lopaha. As well as the affix Vatup comes after the word Kim. In the first case in construction in the sense of numerical quantity of the quantity of um so that that is what it is. Now this thing doesn't say anything about the Tajibadi um, Tat or Yat. This Tati and Yati seem to be formed from Tajibadi Kam Tat and Yat. The same pratyaya dati hum. But this is what I say. In, in Tadditas, you know, all these forms, you will not be able to use a Parnini Sutram to justify all these forms. So, but there will be forms, Tadditas, Taddita. So, um, so we can um, we can put it like that. So, Sarvesham, uh, Sarvesham, Sarvesham. This is a good example of that. We should be ready for this. Tadditanam, Tadditanam, I'm sorry, Tadditanam, because there will always be some forms, uh, I'm sorry, Tadditanam, Sutraihi, Panini Sutraihi, I should say, Sutraihi, Samarthanam, Samarthanam, Na sambhavati, na sambhavati, na sambhavati. So uh, that it is not possible to justify all the Tadhyata forms using Pani Sutra. In fact, they make a pretty strong statement which is Tadhyata Eshu Mudha Pani Niyaha, which means that you know the followers of Pani does not know the Tadhyata forms. So what is happening here is that if you, if you look at the Shabda Kosha also, this form Dati and the Sorry, this tati and yati, they are not, we, I don't, to the best of my knowledge, we cannot form these, you know, using the Pani Sutra. I think what we can do is that we can extend this 5241 and then, you know, get this, get this form of, you know, tati means um, 
um, that many um, your team is which many you know uh, we can do that if I looked also looked at the Shabda Kalpad Dramaha in fact if you want I will quickly read it out to you it says that this is Nipatana Sadhu Nipatana Sadhu means you know, Sarvidhayaka Niyama Nasti so there is no Niyamaha for you know getting that word we just have to accept it accept it as it is and there's, 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 there's no other way it says Yati so this, this is you know you can look at all these you know Shabda Koshaha she what the Shabda Koshakara is to say and there he says, Bahu Vachananta Yavat Chabda Artakaha. So Yavat, just like you have Kiyat, you have Yavat over here. Um, he says, Yat Chabdat Nipatanat. Nipatanat Dati Pratyena Nishpannam. Iti Mukda Bodha Vyakaranam. Mukda Bodha Vyakaranam is a different Vyakaranam from, this very different system from Paninis. So they have in the other, you know, um, Vyakaranas, they have they have given some way to justify this form. So anyway, bottom line is that I don't think there's a way to get this form using the Pani Sutra, but it's a good lesson for us. We have to be able to ready to to stretch these, you know, and to justify all the Shishta Prayogaha. Also, if you look at in fact, let me see, let's see if if, if Apte gives any Apteji gives any quotations for Sati or Yati. I don't think that it is not a very common form. I don't think Amar Kosha also has it, I don't believe so. These may be later form which have come in the language from um, Yati. See, um, as many as of. So he gives he gives that Parimane Dati. So he gives that. But you know, it is not this there's no other sutram to the best of my knowledge besides the one that I just told you about. That sutram only talks about Kimaha. Kimaha Sankhya Parima Parimane Dati Cha. Just derive that form first quickly and then we can just put an extension note for that for Tati um, and yati. Uh, of course, when you derive that form, we'll also look at two or three other rules, which will be important for this, for the uh, declining these forms. So let me see who can do it for me. Um, Indu, you there? Um, yes. If you want to try this one, once you get dati, it's kind of straightforward here. Um, so let's say you take Padipadi uh, Kim plus Prathama. Uh, so Prathama, anyway, it's going to go away by support Hathapadi with the Kaloha. Support Hathapadi, right. Yeah, put here, um, and then put the Pratya Dati. So 5 to 41. Um, okay, of course, Anubandha Lope Ati, Chutu. Uh, Chutu iti Dakara Siddhanya Tasya Lopaha, Anubandha Lope Ati, um, by Chutu. Uh, so 137. Okay, now what's the next step? Um, I think first we can do the Krutta Dita Samasascha, this is the Pradipadika Sanya, then Supo Dhatu Pradipadika Yoho, so Antarvartinaha Supaha Luk, so becomes Kim plus Ati, Kim plus Ati, we need only one more Sutram here, Kim plus Ati, and that is we use the usual, I said to you for the next year, year and a half, you're going to hear this set of these two sutras every day, almost, I mean every class, <laughs> is the Krishna Samasascha Supo Dhatu Padibhidika Yoho. Okay, last step. What do you think, Indus, last step? Any guesses? Is this Te Lopaha? Yeah, Te Lopaha. Te Lopaha. Te Te He. Te He. From Te He. Diti Vasya Tel, so when he says Diti Pratya Vardaha, this is in the Vasya Dikara. 6, 4, 148. 143. So, Ti Sanya Kasya Diti Pratya Vardaha Lopo Bhavati. So, so that is what it is. So, this is 6, 4, 143. With Angam has the Vasanya. First of all, we do the Yachibham. Yachibham. Anuvitya Svarishva Sarvanamasthane Yachibham. Angam gets Vasanya. Then tehe iti ti lopaha, tat paschat im bhagasya lopaha, tat paschat ka ati kati hum. So we use the yachibham and then the tehe, tehe hum. So that's how this word kati is formed. Kati means how many hum. Now what happens here is that, as I put down in the book over here, you can look at this, look at this couple of rules, this, you know, 1, 1, 22, as this is the typo, should be 23, 25, I think. So let's look at 1, 1, 23, 25, which will affect the declension of these forms from 1, 1, 23, 25, is bahu gana vatu dati sang.
संख्या बहुगण वस्तु जैसी संख्या तो इगर से संख्या संज्ञा जो कहे वन वन ट्वेंटी थ्री जो कहे वन वन ट्वेंटी थ्री वन वन ट्वेंटी थ्री बहुगण वस्तु जैसी संख्या एनी न्यू सूत्र हम रिपीट फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी टाइम्स बहुगण वस्तु जैसी संख्या सो द वर्ड्स बहु एंड गण एंड वन रिंग इन वस्तु एंड जैसी पत्ते हाँ इति ये ते संख्या संज्ञा भवंती सो द बहु गेट्स लाइक दैट फ्रॉम सेम सिंग दी वस्तु फ्रॉम and then the kati. Uh, so, so now this gets the um, sankhya sanya. And after that, you get the um, shat sanya by dati chakho. By dati cha. So, by 1125, let's look at 1125. So, first you got the sankhya sanya because you're dati anta, dati anta murupam. That was shat. Um, dati anta, so, dati anta ha, ya sankhya ha. साशत संज्ञा हाँ बंदी हो कथित इष्टंती कथित पश्चाव शो बेसिकली दत्त्यंत संख्या दन दत्त्यंता संख्या दन तस्या हाँ शत संज्ञा विधि यते सो बाय वन 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 ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड वन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्रॉम सो दिस कथित विल गेट दी फ्रॉम शत Finally, shat sanya, shat sanya, but sankhya sanya, and then the shat sanya. Sankhya sanya, and then shat sanya. What do we need? What What is how is it important to us? Because of the shat bhyo look, shat bhyo look, shat bhyo look, shat bhyo look, shat bhyo look. So what happens is that first of all, this is the sabhava. It's by its nature, we say how many. It's going to be nityam bahuvachanan taha bahuvachanan taha shabdaha. Will be the um, always ending in in the only in the plural. Um, when you say um, so by seven one twenty two, I think the sutram is, which is the shabdhyo look shabdhyo look seven one twenty two seven one twenty two. Next sutram is samo nukutakat. So just so hope that Anubhuti is coming down. So shut your look. So I think that's what is given in the book for us is that uh, following this Pratipadi uh, come, you can get the, the just and shut takes sorry just and shut takes look. So shut sanya ke bhya uttar yo ho just so ho look bhavati shut distanti etc. So, um, so in the book he has given the rupa mala. He gives kati kati. So of course this just and shas they take look. So that's the end of that. Then kati be, then kati bhya, um, kati naam the usual thing which you, of course you do the what what is the sutram here in the book? Nami diya. So first of all you know rasvanat diya po nut. Rasvanat diya po nut then nami diya. Kati naam, then kati show, so straight forward. Um, basically, once you do the kati kati, then it decline like in the hari. Hari bhe, hari bhya, hari naam, hari show. Hari. Now, in fact, he says that, that they have no declension ending in, in the in the Pratama and Dhritya Bhavachane. That was chat munivat, munivat prakriya bhavati. Um, this Bhavachana and then Trishu Lingeshu Sarupaha, the same in all genders also. He says, kati naryaha. कति पुरुषा हा कति वस्तु नहीं कति पुस्तकानि all all the same now the सति and and यति same way so we let's put just put a note over here same steps so let me just put over here then seven one twenty two applies applies to do the look look of just and just, just and just. Okay, just and just. Okay, now uh, same, same steps um, for um, uh, sati uh, and and yati. Except we have to uh, have to extend um, uh, extend um, five to forty one. Because it only says kimaha, you have to extend it to the yat and tat. Again, tiropaha, 
Jati, Yati, and give the same. Everything is the same. Okay, so that's the bottom of that page. Um, this is a very nice thing to use because since it is, you know, because the shafts and uh, just and shafts takes look, so you end up with only you know, very easy to use. The kiyas has to be declined, so this will this also should be declined. But it's very easy to ask, like kati pustakani, how many books? You know, so very very easy. You don't have to say, you know, kiyan uh, pustakani, or you don't have to say that. Um, so, okay. Now uh, let's go to the next page, which is the. Um, I don't know why it's putting this, this section over here, but it should have come a long time ago. Maybe we had it in the first book also, but it's repeating it here, which is these five, the sutram basically here is 7125. 7125, 7125. Let's look at the sutram. It says that, uh, and this will be covered in detail in the Saturday class. So we'll look at it briefly here. I think most of you are on the mailing list over there. So, other dataradibhya panchabhya. You must check out examples of that also in, in the class list. So what the Sutram is saying, let's look at the, this. We just saw Sharbhyo look just now, which is, you know, just Sashoho. And it says, Samo Nukum Sakat. Samo Nukum Sakat looks ya. So this is, Samo um, Nukum is Su and Am. They take the um, look elision. If the body will become Angam is Nukum Sakam. In Ato Am, which of course like one Am, one Am, which is if you have Adantam Angam, instead of taking look, it takes the Amma Deshvaha. So this Samoa Nupumusakat has Apavada in Ato Am. Ato Am has an Apavada in Adar Dhatara Adibhya Panchabhya. So that the, um, if you have a Nupumusa Linga Prajapa become, and which is one of these five. And which are these five now? He's talking about this, you know, this Kramaha is from this Sarvadini Sarvanamani. Sarvadini Sarvanamani. Sarvadini Sarvanamani. Let's look at that one, 1127. And there you have these datara, datama, uh, uh, let's see, katara, um, and itara, anyatara. Um, so these, these five. Look at 1, 1, 27. Uh, so kataraha, katamaha, itara, anya, anyatara. I'm sorry. No, datara, datama, then itara, anya, anyatara. Um, these are the five. So these examples of katara and katama, simply this, this datara, datama is given example here. So this, this five are the panchabhya is datara datama, these are pratyaya. So dataranta or datam datamanta, then itara anya anyatara. These are the five. So is that, you know, uh, it comes in Gita, right? Matta paratram nanyat kinchi zasti dhananjaya, chapter seven. Mai saramidam protam sutre manigana iva. So chapter seven, maybe like shoka six or seven, something like that. Um, Matta paratram nanyat anyat kichi dhananjaya. So this 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 decline like sarva shabdaha, but in the napusaka um, linge, you know when the su or am is falling, so su patte pare or am patte pare, so it takes the um, adad adad becomes adad, so the su or am become becomes adad. So let's let's uh, look at the vritti of this one. Um, okay, so sarvadini sarvanamani. So the, again, the five are datara, datama, itara, anya anyatara. Okay, so we look at uh, seven one um, seven one twenty five, and that is that's going to say that other datara adi bhya panchabhya, datara adi bhya parayoho. Swamoho adad iti ayam adesho bhavati. Adad adesho bhavati. So that's what this point is saying here is that anya, anya tara, itara, he only gave katara katama. Okay, because this is the most common form, but basically any positive ending in jatara or datama, we will have this. Uh, not only katara katama, but any, you know. So let's see, let's first just take a little bit of time and see by which sutram, you know, this datara and datama are prescribed. So these are in 5392-94. Let's just go there for a second. 5392-94. See, it is only after the kim yattado. So kim yattad. Nirdharane. Dvayor ekasya datarach. So one more time. Kim yattado. Kim yattado nirdharane. We want to know one, which one among two, you know, or one among these two, that in Nirdharane, so we look at, look at, you know, 5392, 
give you the meaning in 5392. So it means so um, so kataran no gariyo comes in Gita, right? No chaitad vidma kataran no gariyo jatva jaye muyadiva no jaye yuho. We don't know which one of these two is better for us, whether we should win or you know, uh, or they should conquer us. So that is the chapter one, Kataran no Gariyo, Kataratta. So the meaning here of this, this 122 is that after the words Kim, Yat and Tad, neutral meaning uh, one out of two, comes the affix Tatarach. Tatarach. So one of two. So Tatara means one of two, that one. And the other Yatara means one of two, the one who. The one who of the two. That means Yatara. Now, in the next one, he says, Va Bahunam Jati Pariprasne Datama Chau. Jati Pariprasne Datama Chau. So, Datama comes as, you know, one among many. So, Katamaha means which one among many. Which one among many. So, the affix Datama Chau will come after Kim Yatad optionally when the object is in determining one out of many. But in small condition here, which is the um, question being about Jati Pariprasne. So it says, Ko Bhavatam Kataha. Ko Yo Bhavatam Kataha. The one who, one who you know, um, who is the Kata Brahmanaha. So this is Jati Pariprasne, but I don't know if that condition is really uh, used, in, used in practice or not. Maybe it might be relaxed, this Jati Pariprasne. And then the 54 says, ekacha pracha, ekacha pracha, which means after the word ekaha, eka I should say, probably would come. According to the opinion of the Eastern grammarians, maybe added the affixes, datarach and datamach in the above senses. Um, so, so which, which means that, um, um, so, so datarach comes out of one out of two to, is to be specified so much when one out of many should specify. Um, okay, so now the uh, let's look at this uh, 5392. Look at look at the width here. We have um, 5392. Um, again, in the book, he has not given in all these details, but I just want to show you which which part of the come can take this, which is only Kim Yatad from and the Eka. Only only these four we have seen. So the form will be Katara, Yatara, Katara. Um, a katara. He also will have the um, katama, yatama, tatama, and a katama. A katama. So let's if you look at this one here. Um, Kim yatadaha nidharane bhayo e kasya dataracho. And then um, nidhare marva chibya swarthe pratyaha. So it, it comes pratyaha comes swarthe. And then the um, next one will be the um, 93. Which says, Va um, Bahunam Jati Pariprasne Datamach, so one among many. And then finally, Yums Eka Chapracham, Eka Shabdat, Pracham, Nacha Janam, Matena Datra Datamach, Ityeto Pratyavataha, Sasmin Vishaye. Okay, so now um, let's see what the book says for this now. The book is saying that Anya Anya Tara, these are listed in the, in the Sarvadini Sarvanamani. Sarvadin Sarvanamani specifically lists these these two. So one one twenty seven. The Sarvadin Sarvanamani is well worth pasting on your wall again. That famous Vyakarana Bhitti which you have. On that you have to and these are there are thirty five of these. Thirty five of these are there. And within that there are these five. Datara, Datama, Anya Anyatara, mm, mm, Itara, Anya Anyatara. So Datara, Datama, Itara, Anya Anyatara. Okay, so he says the Anya Anyatara. Itara, katara katam only is given. Do you can add to that the um, yatara, tatara, and now a katara we will have uh, an exception. Let's look at that also. We'll look at that in a second. A katara, a katara can be formed, but it has an exception, a declension. So, and a katama only is given here. Not why not he has given a katara? Because there's a vatikam which stops that. So we look at that. Declined like sarva shabdaha. So just say that sarvaadini sarvanaamani. Except in the Pratama and Dhritya Ekvacharam, Napum Sakalingaya, which ends in Anyat and Katarad, etc. So when we do, of course, the Prakriya is, you know, Sulabha, which is if you take, if you take, let's say, anyone, let's take the word Anyat in Sulkita, I think Katar, I should say. 
Shaitan vid mah kataran no gariyo ya dwa jaye ma ya diwa no jaye yuhu. So katara, so thus if you take su or am, su or am. Of course, in the informing the word katara of the straight straight form, because just like we did before in the prior example, we do chutu, lakara si itsanya alubunda lo pe atara. Then you take kim plus kim plus atara again te he lo paha. So same same steps as above. So kim. So katara will derive katara will be same steps as above. So let's put that here. So, mm, so derivation of um, derivation of um, katara and um, katama and you know uh, yatara uh, uh, yatama etc. Mm, mm, will be the same. Uh, will follow similar steps to above. It's basically we are going to use um, using 64143 which is the T lopaha. Okay, we take katara plus su atva am and this is nakum sakalinge. When you do that, um, okay, su atva am and this is nakum uh, sakalinge. Then what happens is that Nakumu Sakalinge. Then we get this from this this seven one twenty five seven one twenty five because the one Nakumu is seven one twenty three twenty four twenty three. Then Atuam is seven one twenty four. Other Jatara Adi Bhya one twenty five. So this is going to take the other other Adi Bhya. So of course this is a aneka lade shaha. Only thing is by halantyam the dakara gets the gets the it sanya again the does and it is going to um, take away the t bhaga by the same sutram. So other dhatta lade bhya panchab bhya by that sutram we can do the other lade shaha. We get katara plus other plus other aneka shi sarvasya. Yes. Ah. Then what I think I'm keeping it separate because he might combine the software will combine. Okay, it's okay. We can do like that. Okay, that's fine. So seven one twenty five from twenty five. Of course, by halan kiam anubandhalo pe ad, and because that that jo as an it, we get tilo pa again become katarad from. And of course, charam jo shonte vavasane katarad katarad. Is that other or other? Other other other. So it's hard to pronounce. Oh, okay. It's a samyoga. Samyoga, samyoga, and the yeah, it's other, other. So it's not other really, other, other, other. So it is the the. So that's the way it is. So it's samyoga, and the yes. So okay. So we can do the anubandha lopaha, and then the ti lopaha make it katarad, katarad, katarad. So this we have. We have used halanjam, tasya lopaha, then tehe, achon tiyadi ti. So the akara is the ti bhaha, and then of course we do the jalam jashon te vavasane, and get the forms kata, kata rad, and kata rad. So this declines completely like sarva shabdaha, with this one little exception, which is in the napun sakalinge tathma ayam diti ayam eka vachaneya adaj da adeshaha. Tilo paha katarad katarad chakum so vavasane. So same thing in the other forms, you'll get the similar situation. You get the. So Tishi, I have a question. Yes. How does it get the button? Because of this, because this doesn't have this is not sir, this is not pun circling. It's because of she sarvanamasthanam, right? Kalpa is so. This is not sarvanamasthanam here. Yachibham. Okay. 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 
Okay, 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 okay. I, I was just looking at seven one twenty five. I was thinking that, but it is actually uh, uh, it is it is a pratyah adesha. So, the so suvam will. So this is this is a swadi pratyah, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. So it, because it comes as a replacement for the suvadi pratyah, it, it will also get. Taniwad Adesha, so that is fine. Yes, Taniwad, Taniwad Adesha. Yeah, I was, I was wondering, 7125, right? It is not a Pratya, how will we get Pratya? Taniwad, so. this is only an Adesha, Taniwad. Okay, okay, I got it, thank you. Taniwad, okay. Okay, um, so now, um, yeah, what Kalpish was saying is that uh, other is not a Pratya, it's an Adesha. It's Taniwad Adesha, and with how? So it's the Taniwad Bhava, and because Nakun Sakalinga, this doesn't have Sarvanama Sthana Sanya, because she is Sarvanama Sthana. So we, it's a swadi. It is not sarvanam sthana. It is not So yachibham. Yes. Okay. So maybe I should put that in here also. So, um, so I'll put here the um, um, sthanivad adesh anal vidhau. I think that number is the one one fifty six sthanivad adesh anal because the any adesh I will take the properties of the uh, thing it replaced but not the specific letter. So this will be considered a Swadi Pratyaya. It came in place of Suram. And then from um, Yachibham and then that, okay? So that's what it is. All right, so now uh, the same thing will come uh, in the case of um, Anya, uh, because we have this, these five. So we should have um, Katarat, then Katamat, uh, Anyat, Itarat, um, Anyatarat. Um, how about Anyatamana? Um, Anyatama, what about that? Um, so that is not coming by this Dataratatama. Um, as I told, that's why we went through those, we went through those rules. Because Datarat and Datarat and Datarach, Datamach is only from Kim Yat Tad, Kim Yat Tado, Tadaha, and Tad Pashchat uh, Ekat. That's only these, only is one, two, three, four. So this anyatara and anyatama is have taken avyutpannam pratipadikam. Avyutpannam pratipadikam. This pratipadikam does not come. That's why Pandani had to list the anyatara in addition to datara, isn't it? But if, if anyatara could be derived from this anya with datara, there's no need to do the puttak nirdesha. Because the anyatara and anyatama are not coming, they are not datara ending in datara or datama. Because only kim yat tad um, and ekacha pracham. That's all, all it gives. So let me put that note over here so that the um, anyatara, anyatama, anyatara from um, anyatara um, and the anyatama, anyatama, anyatama um, are not ending, are not ending in jatara ratama. Jatara, Jatama, Jatama, Pratya, Pratya, because, because this, this Vidhana Mohan Tatra because of uh, 5392 to 5394 um, is only for, um, is only for, um, for the uh, Kim, uh, Yat, I should say Yat rather, so Yat, and then Tad, and, and um, then Eka, only after this. So, Avitpannam Pradipati come, so this was, so we can ask Anyatama, Anyatama will not, will not come under this at all. If you, in fact, if you look at the Sarvadi and Sarvanamani, let's go back and keep on telling you the Sarvadi and Sarvanamani is a very important list. For, what it says? He says, Anya, Anyatara. That's all he says. So, Anyatama is, is, is not there. In fact, I think if you look at, I think I put also the page number here. I think if you look at the Bahami Vyaksha, I think it's this um, volume, I think, uh, one. Let's look at one, 331. Might have it there, 331. Uh, he has put a nice footnote there about Anyatara, Anyatama. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, that's about the ekta. No, not that one. Uh, let's see. There's another page here. I put that page number. So, um, I know he has a good note. Okay, let's try this one. Maybe page 200. Oh, 
Yeah, see, Anyatama is declared like Ramavatta. It's not even in the in the list of Sarvadini Sarvanamani. Anyatama Shabdaha. Ramavatta Chalati. Tasya Prakriya, Suprakriya. If you look at page 200 of, of the Bhaimi Vyakya volume 1, he has said that the um, after Anya comes Anya Tara, and then uh, Anya Tama, um, which is you know um, one among many, he's not is not ending in Tatam Pratyaha. Both these are Avipanna Pradipati Kheya. Anya Tara Shabda is in this Salvadhyaya Sarvanamani. Anya Tama is not there. Anya Tama Shabda is here, Sarvanama Sanya Nasti. So Rama Shabda Vadu Charanam. I just want to remind you of that. These are very confusing. This Anyatara Anyatama, they do look like they are ending Datara Datama, which they are not. But Anyatara is in the Sarvani Sarvanama. Sarvanama Sanya. Anyatama is not. We put that in the document. So that was the one thing I want to clarify. So Anyatara is in Sarvadi Ganaha. Anyatara is in Sarvadi Ganaha. So it looks like Sarva Shabda except for this, you know, Pratma Dvitya is a question, the Pumsa Lingi will become Manya Sarat, otherwise, you know, Shesham Sarvam Sarva Shabda Vat. Anya Tara is listed in Sarvadi, Sarvadi Gana. But Anya Tama is not so. Anya Tama is not so. Is not. So, the latter, um, uh, will decline like um, uh, Rama Shabda. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know why it's putting in this lesson there. I don't know. I think why it's putting all this in this lesson because it should have come a long time ago. But anyway, it is here. Um, okay, one last thing is this. This is there is a uh, Vatikam. If you look at um, how about an Ekatara Ekatama? Ekatara Ekatama. So what he has put here is that only put the Ekatama. Why not Ekatara? What happens there? So this also should be it is Datamanta, Datam Pratyanta Shabdaha. So Tasmadapi other Dataradi Bhapanchabyati Sutram um Tavarteta, it should it should apply to that also. Because there's a Vatikam on seven one twenty six home. Look at the Vatikam sun because that excludes this one. So let's look at seven one twenty six. Vatikam. Mm. Mm. So this Eka uh, Tara. Eka Tara. Of course, Siddhanta Koma is slightly different Vatikam, so different in Kashika. Doesn't matter. The bottom line is that you know this this Eka Tara will not will not follow. Mm. This uh, okay. He said no itarach because this is a Nishe Sutram, no itarach and the sea. Nishya Sutram, and he says, Ekatarathi Sarvatra Chandasi Bhashayam Pratisheda Ishyate Ekataram Tishthati Ekatarat I think this might be in the Mahabhasham. He says, Ishyate means it is the Ishti. So this is the language of Patanjali. Ishti Atva Ishyate Tuchyate Chet Idam Bhashya Vachanam Itignyatavyam This is from the Bhashyam. So we have Panini Sutrani, then we have the Vartikani of Katya, and then we have the Ishtis, Ishtayaha, Patanjalehe, Ishtayaha. So we put that here. So Ekatara will not Shira um, Ishtate. So by this, this Vyakshan number Bhashyam, we can say so, so 7125 does not apply, not apply to um, Ekatara. Ekatara. It is still in the Sarvadi and Sarvanamani because it is listed in that, um, it is still Jatara Patyanda Shabdaha, unlike Anyatama, which is completely out of Sarvadi and Sarvanamani. Ekatara will be in Sarvadi and Sarvanamani because the fact that Jatara Patya has been used. So, uh, but it will not, the 7125 will not apply to it because of the Vyakhyana Bhashyam. So it will become, it will not become Ekatara, it will become Ekataram. Um, um, yeah, I think that pretty much completes this top part for us. Um, we got most of everything. Now he's talking about these um, pronouns, which is you know reflexive pronoun, means speaking to oneself, talking about oneself. You know, so the last page you're talking about the demonstrative pronoun. I think what they call them. Again, my English grammar is not very good. If when you point to somebody, like um, 
you know, this, that, or who, or whatever. So this is a reflexive point, point to yourself. So okay, let's look at this, this swayam. Swayam is an avyayam. Avyayam. So this is a different, different thing completely all together. It's an avyayam. So look at in the avyaya koshaha. Look also in, uh, these are a couple of good places to look at all the avyayani. Avyaya kosha, of course, is very useful. And also in the Bhaimi Vyakya in volume 1, at the end, she also has a nice Avya Kosha where she gives a lot of good things. So both, if you have any Avyayam, first thing is try to find it in one of these two places. So if you don't find it, chances are it is not an Avyayam. So um, so let's see, Swam, he gives, let's see what Apte he gives. Um, uh, Swayam, I'm sorry. Swayam, Swayam, Swayam. Mm. Uh, Swayam. In fact, let's see if we can find it, what Abdeji says. Um, one self in one's own person, so this is used as an avyayam. So this is, this is a famous statement from Kalidasa, by the way. Vishavruksho pi samvardhya swayam chetuma sampratham. Vishavruksho pi samvardhya. So having, uh, having made a even a poisonous tree, if, if we have, you know, if we have made it grow, having done that, um, to cut it yourself is not proper. Swayam chetum asampratam, ayogyam asampratam. So swayam chetum, to cut it yourself. Um, um, so, yasya nasti swayam pradnya shastram tasya karotikim subhashitam is that one who doesn't have his own sense. Yasya yasya nasi swayam pradnya. You can say swakiya pradnya. Or you know, so you can so this is standing for swayam is used for your own, you know, one's own. Uh, and then shastam tasya karoti kim. What can shastam do for him? Means kimapi na karoti. Okay. So this is swayam is an is an amviyam. Referred to oneself so is very easy. It's an amviyam. You don't have to worry about it. Like Swayam Gachati, Swayam Pashyami, Idam Karyam Maya, Swayam Kutam, then done by myself. Uh, so Acharya Swayam Agataha, the Acharya himself has come, which is a reflexive pronoun. Okay, uh, Not a pronoun, I'm sorry, it's an Avyam. Mm -hmm. Avyam, Swayam is Avyam. Actually, I'm not seeing it in the Shastri. Swayam, who I'm seeing? Hold on. Let me look at the Avyam Koshaha. Mm -hmm. uh, see if you can find it there. Because I, I was hoping to find it in the um, this one, I could not find it. Give me one second. I was hoping to find it in the Bhaimi uh, Vyaksha. Let's see if the because uh, sometimes after you what he gives is that when he gives us the indeclinable, those may be adverbs. They may not really be you know avyam in the sense of palini. So you have to be careful in the, in the dictionary of apte. If you, if you just say indeclinable, it may not be an avyam in the sense of Panini. It might be only a Kriya Visheshanam. Even that he puts, you know, the I and D, I think. Um, let me see. Give me one second. Um, um, soyam, Soyam, Soyam. Soyam. Um, um. Yeah, Soyam is there, okay. It is in the Swaradi Nipatam Vyam. Swaradi Nipatam Vyam. Swaradi Nipatam Vyam. Atmana. Atmana ityarthe. By oneself. Um, Swaradi Ravyam. Atmanam ityartha iti ke chit. Atmanam means oneself or by oneself. Eyam svataha ityapi tas pratyanta mambiyam niyam. So svataha, satva svayam. Now the thing is, I don't know why Shastriji has not given it in his. So this avya kosha sometimes has more things. At least I'm not able to find it here. I don't, I don't know why. Um, mm, uh, let's see. Uh, no, I'm looking in the wrong place. Excuse me. I'm in the wrong place. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. So I am. Yes, it is there. It is there on page 520. Okay, I'm sorry. It is there. It's on page 520. I'm in the wrong place. So page 520 it is there. That's what I'm saying. If you have an Amviyam, try to confirm. It is there in Amviya Kosha. Also, Prafi there in, in the, in the Bahimi Vyakya also. So on page 520. It's Amviya Kosha. I found it in the Bahimi Vyakya. I was in the wrong place. But I found it now. It's on page 520. He says, um, Swayam Atmana Indropi Lagutam Yati Swayam Rakshyapi Tair Gunai Hum Indropi Lagutam Yati Swayam. In, even Indraha goes to, loses his importance. Um, 
becomes trivial. If you praise yourself, if you if you recount your own qualities, then you know you lose you lose your greatness. Indra Pila Vutam Yati Swayam he himself goes. Okay. So Swayam is an Avyam. Lesson is that if he is an Avyam, um put this in, in the thing, so if um Avyam uh Avyayam is a good habit, um uh, check in Avya Kosha. Mm. Because mm. sometimes I think it's an avyam and it is not an avyam, so you want to be careful just to be sure. Nishayatam, avyaya koshaha, and also in the firm, avyaya koshaha, and also in the maimi, maimi vyakya, maimi vyakya, maimi vyakya. Yakya and this is Patamabhage. Patamabhage ko. Mm. He has a nice Avya Kosha also he himself has. It's a very good thing. So, okay. So that was Soyam. Next one which he gives is um, the Atman. For this Atman is not a Savanam Shabdaha. It's just a uh, Pullingam uh, Pratipadikam. With singular as well as reflexive pronoun, all person genders, of course, it can be used. But the one thing is that even if you have a uh, um, a, a female, still you know, if it's feminine, the person might be feminine, but Atman will still be masculine. So, mm, mm. Um, so thus, if we say you know, sa atmanam sheshtam manyate, so she thinks herself as being very good. So, so she is a Atmanam only, even though she is feminine, uh, you know, she, her Atman will still remain masculine only. So yes, Atman can be used um, uh, by all persons, but in that move, that, that one that will not change into feminine. It's, it's a pulling Pratavadikam. Uh, it comes in Bhagavata, I mean the Bhagavata Puranam, uh, Dashamaskande, it is in the uh, Ekonotrimshat, Ekonotrimshat Adhyaya. In the 29th Adhyaya of, of Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th um, Skanda, Atmanam Menire Srinam Maninyo Bhidikam Bhuvi. So when, when the gopis were doing the Rasa Kida with Sri Krishna, Atmanam Menire Srinam Maninyo Bhidikam Bhuvi. So they thought, they thought of themselves as being the best in the whole world. So anyway, Atmanam Menire, Gopya, gopis thought of themselves as being, you know, uh, very proud, very the best in the whole world. So this Atman is not Sati, Manam Sati, yes, so. just tempted to quote uh, Atmanam Manusham Manni Ramam Dasa Ramam Dasa Atman Correct. So I think you know I think I, I think of myself as a human being. Very famous quote from the Ramayana. Uh, of course in Gita Udhraya Atmana Atmanam Natmanam Uvasada Yet One should uplift oneself by oneself one should never put oneself down. So, Udhred Atmana Atmanam Natmanam Avasadet Atma Iva Jhatmana Avandar So, the self is the friend of oneself. Atma Iva Rupur Atmana and also one's own enemy. So, it's not Sarvanama Shabdaha. Very, very commonly used. The one thing I want to point out here, I think we must have noticed that also in the Saturday examples is that, let's say, he goes with his friend. Now, in English you say, he goes with his friend. You should say, you know, uh, you can say, Saha, if it's, if it's not Paroksha, you should say, you know, Asav, Atmanaha Mitrena Saha Gachati. You should not say, you know, um, let's say, Saha Tasya Mitrena. Say Atmanaha, of his own friend. Or you can say, Swasya, Tasya Mitrena. I think this English translation of, you know, he goes to his house, but his, his, I think, doesn't translate into Samskritam. So he says, you know, Saha Atmanaha Griham Gachati or Swasya Griham Gachati. I think you know, should not say Saha Tasya Griham Gachati. You can say Swasya Atmanaha. I think it's, at least it sounds better to me. But in English you can say, you know, if you translate it, he goes to his home. Okay, um, now comes, okay, let's look at this Swa. This Swa has four meanings. Is Atma, Atmiya, and you know, uh, Dhanav 
Ajnati. Ajnati. So now let's look at now diameter section of which I told you last time in 1127 to 1136 for the rest of this page. That will do it for us. Uh, 27, so Sarvadini Sarvanamani. Okay. Now, this is of course the, the Gana, which is 35 items in there. What we call in English pronouns, Sarvadini. Um, now, is, this is about some in, in the um, Samase. You know, when these go into compound, what happens? Right now, we're not talking about those. Let's skip these. Vibhasha Adik Samase, Bahuvri Hau, Nabrahu Vihau. Basically, in a Bahuvri compound, when these go in a Bahuvri compound, they, they do not have the Saranama Sanya, except in the Dik Samase, in Bahuvri, they have optionally. So these are about Bahuvri compounds you don't need right now. In Titiya Samase, also in a compound, Dvande Chav. So this is this now. <coughs> now Vibhasha Jasi. Let's look at 1130. So all these, you know, up to 32, are talking about, you know, what happens to these when they're in compounds. Um, so in the compounds, they may lose their Sarvanama uh, Sanya. They will not declare a Sarva anymore. So 1132, if you look at that, um, so Dvanve Samasya. So even that, we don't need. So look at 33 now, 1133. Is Prathama Charama Taya Alpa Ardha Kati Paya Nemascha. So Vibhasha Jasi Iti Vartate. So these Prathama, Charama, in fact that's what we're talking about in the book is the point below here. Um, I think he's talking about this one, uh, this point, this Ardha, Alpa, Katipaya, Prathama, Charama, um, a decline like pronouns in A, uh, they optionally follow declension of Sarva in the um, Prathama, Bahuvachanam, Pullinge. Alpaha atva alpe. Alpaha atva alpe. So this point down here of Ardha, Alpa, Katipaya, Prathama, Charama. This is the Sutram, which is 1133. Says um, Prathama, Charama, Tayalpardha, Katipaya, Nemascha, Vibhasha, Jasiti, Vartate. When the Jaspatya follows, they will, behave, they will decline like the Sarva Shabdaha optionally, Vibhasha. So Prathama, Charama, Taya, um, Alpa Ardha Katipaya Nema Iti Ete Jasi Vibhasha Sarvanama Sanyaha Bhavanti So Prathame Atta Prathamaha Charame Atta Charamaha Dvitaya Atta Dvitayaha So this is Pratyataya is being used Dvitayaha Alpe Alpaha and so on you know So this Taya and Taya Pratyas So there the distinction is that this Nema is already in the um, Sarvadishu. Tasya prapti vibhasha anyesham aprapti vibhasha. Is that so? What happens is that, if let's look at this for a second. This prathama charama, I think I, I, made, I made a wrong statement here. Now let's see what, what did he say in the book. Um, mm, decline like nouns, I'm sorry, this is the mistake I made. Okay, excuse me. Decline like nouns in a. So these are not in the Sarvadi and Sarvanamani. Let me take it, let me let me uh, correct myself. This Ardha, Alpa, Katipaya, Prathama, Charama, Sarvadi, Shuna, Prachyante. Oh. They are not part of the Sarvadi and Sarvanamani. Oh. That's what this, this Kashika is saying is that um, uh, Anyesham, Aprapte, Vibhasha. Aprapte means there was, there was no need to decline. They were not, if, this, if this Sutra was not there, they would decline like normal nouns ending in Akara. Oh. But but by this statement, this prathamaha etc. They become prathame etc. etc. In the uh, um, um, when the pratya just follows, so when the pratya just follows, they will decline optionally like sarva. Everywhere else they decline like you know uh, rama shabda or whatever. So that is that is the only difference here. Now the nema is the only one which is not in the book, but this nema is in the sarvadi sarvanamani. So that would normally decline like Sarva Shabdaha. But here it becomes optionally like uh, Rama Shabdaha. So Nema is in the Sarvadi Sarvanamani. Again, it's not listed in the book, so don't worry about it. But for that one, it is in Sarvadi Sarvanamani. It would decline like Sarva Shabda everywhere. But by this Sutram, Jasi Vibhasha. Others, Aprapte Vibhasha. Others are declining like Rama Shabda anyway. Only thing um, when Jas is following, 
only they will decline next this um, sarvasham so put this so is ardha alpa pratipaya pratham sarama okay um, let's put this so this uh, in fact let me take it from here itself um, yes uh, ardha alpa pratipaya uh, um, So these are not in the sarva adini sarva namani, not in sarva adini. The pathama charama, I think this is not given in the book, I think it's not given that, okay, are not listed in, not part of sarva adhika, sarva adhika. So only when just follows, when just pratyaha, uh, uh, follows, uh, they will decline optionally from um, uh, like sarvashamdaha. So that's the only thing. So that's the point below that, that he has given. Of course, the sutram which is why just follows is just a she. Just a she, the sutram. So that is what makes this special when the words sarva, etc. are come, uh, when the pratyaya just follows, this just gets the she adeshaha. Mm, just gets the she adeshaha. Mm, mm, where is that? Okay, come here. Just a she. Um, so look at 7117. 7117, let's look at that. So that's what, you know, because why should there be different between sarva shabda and Rama Shabda in the Jaspatya in the first place. Um, so, Akaranta Sarva Namnaha Uttarasya Jasashi Naimadish Bhavati um, Sarve Vishwe and so on. Um, okay, now, so that was this one in the book. So, this is 1133. Ardha Alpa Katipaya Prathama Charma Sarvadishuna Pachyante Jasi Vibhasha Sarva Shabda Vat um, Prakriya Bhavati um, Alpaha Alpe. Um, Okay, let's go to uh, 1, 134. Now we only have 34, 35, 36. 34, 30, because with 36 ends this section of a Sarva Adini. Um, so 34, 35, 36, let's see what 34 I should say. Is that Purva, Para, Avara, Dakshina, Uttara, Apara, Adharani, Vyavasthayam, Asanyayam. Vyavasthayam, Asanyayam. For so these, Purva, Para, Avara, Dakshina Uttara Apara Adhara Niti Esham Gane Parthat Purvana Nityayam Sarvanama Sanyayam Praptayam Jasi Vibhasha Arabhyate. So these also, and this is now in the book, I'm looking at this point, um, this one here, this Purva Avara, uh, so Eastern or prior Avara, um, this is Western, might be later also. Look at what Apiji says for Avara. Uh, they uh, could mean inferior also, could mean inferior, janavara. Uh, avara means inferior. Uh, oh, it comes in Gita. Durena javaram karma buddhi yoga dhananjaya. Durena javaram karma, karma avaram. So karma is, you know, it is not as good. It's inferior, uh, nikrishtam. Durena javaram karma buddhi yoga dhananjaya. Uh, buddha vashana man vichya krupana phala Avara can also mean inferior. Um, younger also, later also, um, and also can mean um, below, lower, inferior, less, following. These are also meanings of um, Avara. In fact, it doesn't, doesn't give Western over here. Um, mm, yeah, Western also. Okay. Western, I guess later. So the sunrise in the east, so this is Avara. Um, so this Purva, Avara. Dakshina Sadhana, of course, Uttara North, can be also mean later. Mm. Adhara, inferior, lower. Uh, para, other, upper, another. Um, um, because Para can also, it comes in Gita, right? Shuma Shloka, the Gita is chapter number four. Is uh, Aparam Bhavato Janma, Param Janma Vivasvataha, Katham Etad Vijani, um, Tumadu Prokhtava Niti. I think, I think this chapter four, I think number three. Um, uh, aparam bhavato janma means your birth is later. Uh, 
recent param janma vivasvatah but the vivaswan the sun god is born earlier katham etad vijani am tamadu proktavanti and how should i know that you your aparam bhavato janma is your your bhavatah krishna se janma aparam aparam it more recent he says param janma vivasvatah is earlier for hmm. katham etad vijani am tamadu proktavanti uh, but of course upper came is also mean others upper eniyata ahara ha pranan prane same chapter upper eniyata ahara ha pranan prane shujuvati sarve pyat yatni vidho yajna kshapita kalmasha ha upper eniyata ahara ha upper means others upper eniyata i think in english like you have other and another right other and another <laughs> another must take like, uh, para can also mean other of course para can also mean other things like an enemy also uh, um so but you have other another so for the upper upper can also mean another they can take some different shades of meanings for upper another antar antar outer we going to come to this in a second swa is um own we talk going to talk about swa in a minute okay so own um, decline like sarva in the ablative and locative um, singular masculine and neuter and in nominative plural let's we'll talk about nominative plural okay, this is this is this 1134 is the jasi of the bhasha so rather the option is follow the extension of nouns we the lose the sarvanama sanya so they only when the pratyaya just follows they are optionally sarvanama sanya that's 1134 so this this so only this one we done so far in the nominative plural masculine the option you follow the extension of nouns um, That's one one thirty four. Let's look at thirty five thirty six, and we'll come back to this point in a second. Let's look at thirty five thirty six. Um, thirty five says some adnyati dhanakhyam. So some some adnyati dhanakhyam. I swear it has. It says this thing has four meanings. Um, which is that? Um, which is can mean oneself. Can means the most common meaning of swam. Swa is belonging to oneself. belonging to oneself from um, swe putraha swaha putraha so in that meaning it will it will it will decline like sarva shabda optionally when just follows from um, jafsi when just follows okay but let's stop here for one second so that let us go to 1127 and look at there is the same vartikam is is gana gana sutram is there sarva adini is a gana form just like we have dhatu patha we also have gana patha the gana patha is a list of these uh, you know ganas of uh, uh, pratipadika suchaya list of mainly pratipadika pratipadika suchaya and they give all these when point is sarvadini shivadi bhyo and, and so on so what is shivadi what is sarvadi you know and so on what is the um, tarakadi so they all in the gana patha gana patha also has gana sutrani just like the dhatu patha also has gana sutrani which we have seen couple of them So here there are some Gana Sutra, Ani, and then let's see what what they say. Um, he says, "Swam Adnyati Dhanakshayam." So Swam will only take the um, Savanama Sanya only when it is in the Adnyati Dhanakshayam. I mean, it does not mean does not mean the um, relationship like a, like the kingsman, uh, some relation or you know Dhana doesn't mean wealth, doesn't mean relative. So it's not a relative. not relative not not wealth so swam can also mean wealth like like brahmana swam means you know dhanam it is it is you know nisam means somebody who is poor doesn't have any money so so swam can also mean less common but it is used so swam can mean dhanam swam can mean nyati also of course your relatives and um uh then it can mean sakiya belonging to one so that meaning only it's going to be seven um, amasanya in fact i think here he gives a, um, a nice thing if i look give me one second i think because his shastri has done a good job of describing all these you see i think if he has the swa shabda here uh, okay swa is on page 208 i think it will be a good good note over there from um, 208 from okay from I think she's going to give the four meanings. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
because at one place he had given Page two zero five. Two zero five okay, I'm sorry, thank you. Two zero five. Mm. Mm, yeah, here it is on page two zero. So Atma thank you, Atma, Atmiya, Nyati and Dhana. These four. So it says only in the first two meanings it is gets the Sarvanama Sanya. Atma and Atmiya is oneself or belonging to oneself. And the most common meaning is that Atmiya, belonging to oneself. Okay, if you're going to see a Gita example in the, uh, in, in, in a second, like comes in Gita chapter 18, right? Sve Sve Karmanya Virataha Samsiddhin Lavate Naraha. So Sve Sve Karmani. So in one's own duty, Abhirataha, when one is when well engaged in one's own duty, Samsiddhim Lavate Naraha. A man attains a perfection or um, success. So Sve Sve Karmani. So in one's own action, one's own duty. So there's a most common use of Swa is the Atmi. And in that in that meaning it does have the Swanama Sanya. Now, look at this Ogana Sutram. Swam Ajnati is not Shayam. Is there a type here? Swam Ajnati. I think the type. This this one doesn't have many typos. This might be a typo. Because it says Akhyayam it should be. Swam Ajnati Dhanakhyayam. I think that there's the one Ya missing there. This is a very good effort which has been done by this uh, I think Professor Cardona from uh, UPenn and also with collaboration with Brown University. It's a nice, it's a very nice thing. But I think there are some typo. This might be a typo. Yeah, it's a typo. Samajnyati akhyayam should be akhyayam. Saptami, saptami. Samajnyati tanakhyayam. It's not in the meaning, not in the akhya. Nakhya saptami ekocham should be. Some ajnati dhanakhyayam, it should be, it should be a ya in between here, uh, not in these two meanings. So, now let's hold on to that for a second and let's go back, go back to this um, <coughs> 1135. So what this Kansutram was saying was that, that some gets the Savanama Sanya only when it is not in these two meanings, uh, remaining two meanings and the main meaning was uh, atmiya. Again, the sutram says samajnyati dhanakhyayam. This is correct. This is correct over. This is correct over here, by the way. Oh, this is correct. So you now, why again the sutram has to say the same thing? Because that again in those so excluding those two meanings, so swam will so swa will decline optionally like sarva shabda when just follows. So in so excluding these two meanings, swa will get the sarvanama sanya. And again, actually, in those two meanings, decline option even like sarva when just follows. Now, if Pani did not say this again, the meaning would be what? That swa will decline like sarva shabda option even just follows. If, if, if in spite, we know the Gana Sutra is already there in 1127. Gana Sutra is already there. Then why does Pani again repeat that again in 1135? Because if we did not repeat it, if we, if we just put swa over here, so what will happen is that sarvesh or thesho. In all meanings, so would decline optionally like sarvesh shabda when just followed, which is which is what we don't want. We want only in those two meanings again, when that swa gets a sarvanama sanya, again in those, I mean, excluding those two meanings, then it will it will decline optionally when just follows. So the bottom line is that by the Gana Sutram, excluding these two meanings, swa gets a sarvanama sanya, and again, excluding these two meanings, when just follows, it will decline optionally, like this Sarva Shabda. So basically, when it's Nyati and Dhana, then there's nothing to do with these any of these sutras. When those two meanings are not there, when the most common meaning, the Atmiya meaning is there, in that case, it gets the Sarvanama Sanya. And again, in that meaning, it will decline optionally, like Sarva Shabda, when just follows. Put this in this. This is a confusion, because you see the same thing repeated in this sutram and in the Gana, Gana sutram. So you're wondering why is repeating again and again like that. Um, so, okay, um, so maybe put, I'll put it like this. Um, swa uh, has four meanings. Uh, swa shabdaha, swa shabdasya chatvaraha arthaha mm, mm, has four meanings. Uh, um, uh, 
more meanings, which is, which again, we'll give, we'll give one Shastriji, page 205, which is uh, Atma, and then Atmiya. Belonging, this is the most common one, from then Nyati, um, I'm sorry, yeah. and then Dhanam. Oh, this is an adjective, Atmiya, this is an adjective, Atmiya, Nyati and Dhanam. This is the most common one, most common one. Okay, so by the Gana Sutta 1127, um, so by 1127, okay, um, it will it will get the uh, it will get the uh, sarva nama. Sanya. Ah, I'm sorry. Sanya. Only in the first two meanings. In the first two meanings. And then also, um, also by. 1135 it will decline optionally um, decline optionally um, like um, sarva shabdaha in the only in the first two meanings um, so that's the whole gist of it okay so i don't want to read because this is this is very confusing you see the same gana sutram Again, you're seeing the same sutram again, 135. So, so basically, with the sutram, which is Gana sutram, will make it Sarvanama Sanya only in those two meanings. Again, Panini has to repeat that. If you did not repeat it, it will become optional like Sarva Shabda in all four meanings. We don't want that. We want, again, optional like Sarva Shabda only in those two meanings. So, when you don't have, when you, when you have the meaning of Nyati Aspatanam, then you don't have any of these rules applying any of that. Um, so, that is the, is the mystery of Swa. So, so this so that, is. Yes. You want to put meanings in the plural or it doesn't matter? Yeah, so meanings, yes, thank you. Um, this is the, uh, yes, very good, thank you. Um, okay, oh, now. The one above also. There is one more place about here. Thank you. Um, meanings. Now, the other thing which is coming here is similar thing is happening. Um, similarly happening with one of the other ones also. Um, which is the, if you look at the, um, okay, let's go back now. So this is, we've done with this one. Now, so this was the swak. Um, and now with the 36, what it is saying is that, um, is that antaram bahir yoga, bahir yoga pa samvyana yoho. The same thing happening with the word antara. Uh, antara, antara bahir yoga means it is outside, only in that meaning, uh, in that meaning, and upasam vyana yoho, like it's, it's a garment, I think, that, that meaning. So only in those two meanings, just like in Sua, the same thing will be repeated in the, in the, it's also Gana Sutram, I think in the book is not given this, so it doesn't worry about too much, but it is the same situation, is that if you look at the Gana Sutram, again, it's repeated here. Antaram bahir yogo, bahir yogo pa samvyana yoho, bahir yogo pa, bahir yogo pa samvyana yoho. So there is, is the same thing is happening is that only in those two meanings. So in the meaning of outer or a lower garment, um, is optionally, you know, so that is the um, 1136. Uh, now what have we left in the books? So we looked at, we looked at, this is only for the uh, Antara uh, Shabdha, which I think in the book he has not given. Now we saw about some in detail. Coming to 34, uh, is these Purva, uh, Para, Avara, Dakshina, Uttara, Apar, Adharani, Vyavasthayama, Sanyaya. Okay, let's look at this one, this similar situation. Um, let's again go to 1127. We probably have a Ganasutram there also. Um, uh, let's see. Um, 
if you come down here, um, okay, you see the same thing is happening. See, Purva Para Avara Dakshinotara Paradharani Yavasthayam Sanyayam. Yavasthayam Sanyayam. So, same, same thing is happening there also. Is in those meanings only, these will get the um, Sarvanama um, Sanya. And then by 1133, uh, I think it was, uh, no, 34, um, 34, um, what is happening is that, again, Jasi Vibhasha, um, Jasi Vibhasha, Visha, so, Purva Para Avara Dakshina Uttara Para Adhariti Etesh Etesham Gane Parthat Purvena Nityayam Sarvanama Sanyayam Prapthayam Jasi Vibhasha Arabhyate so again in, in that in that meaning so what meaning is that um, which is that yavasthayam uh, sanyayam when it when it means that um uh, words pratama charama adha um katipaya um yavasthayam sanyayam so so means it should be like in a direction you know, um, direction let me see what this one gives um I'm sorry. Okay. So, so he says that when they talk about relative position, relative position, like north, south, east, west, could be even in time, later, earlier, uh, and not when they are named. Uh, so when, when somebody has a name, like somebody, um, like take like take a Dakshina. Um, a dakshina, uh, if it means somebody is clever, you know, then in that case it will not get a Sarvanama Sanya. Because Dakshina means skillful also. Skillful or or, or, or clever. In that case it is not Vyavastha. Doesn't, it doesn't mean south or in direction in time also. In that case it only will get a Sarvanama Sanya. Vyavasthayam or Sanyayam. If somebody has a name also like that, um, it, it will not um, it will not get Sarvanama Sanya. Um, I think does it give an example here? Um, yes. So when Dakshina means clever, it, is, it doesn't give that. So so this is the same thing, is only when it means basically, you know, like, you know, relative position, relative position to something. So it means like higher, lower, east, west, north, south, could be earlier, later. Only in those meanings, these words get the, by the Gana Sutram, they get the Savanama, um, uh, Sanya, and then also Jasi Vibhasha. Jasi Vibhasha. So maybe I'll, I'll put this, uh, Mm, okay. Uh, so let's take these. Um, so similarly, um, okay. Similarly, uh, uh, similarly for uh, okay. Purva for our Dakshina. Um, uh, again, some typos here, but Uttara. Uh, Upper other uh, oh, these um, get the uh, sarva nama ah, sarva nama uh, sanya only when they mean relative position uh, mm, 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 uh, only when they imply relative position, uh, relative position, east, west, north, south, uh, higher, lower, later, earlier, um, mm, space or time, mm, mm. and uh, again, so not when they are uh, somebody's name um, or adjective, so like clever or something like that. Again, again, um, in this in in this meaning only. Um, meaning only uh, they are declined uh, optionally uh, like sarva shabda mm. i'm sorry did you, oh i made this like this thing okay when jaspatya follows uh, uh, okay so i forgot to put this here when just follows when jaspatya follows uh, okay i think that pretty much does it for us but yeah uh, mm, follows uh, Okay, uh, like Sarva Shabda when Jaspatya follows. I think we need only one more sutram here, which will be, um, okay, 
So that's the same situation there that they get the uh, Sarvanama Sanya only in those meaning, in that meaning, and again when just Pratyah, for in that same meaning, you would declare an option like Sarva Shabdaha. This is only when the just Pratyah follows. Okay. Now what happens is that um, he's talking in the book, <coughs> he's talking also about the ablative and locker, the singular masculine and neuter. So this, where, where is this coming from now? Then we have to go to 7.1. Uh, 7.1 and there you see you know when all is sarvanam nasmai and all that he says purva adibhyo navabhyo va so this nyasi nyosmat we know purva adibhyo navabhyo va so so this is one sutra which says that after this purva adi again purva adi means what yatha sarva adi gane patitaha so gana kramena so gana pasha kramaha so when these nine words purvadi, they will take smart and smin optionally. Um, let's look at that one. So this is one thing which is um, in 7.1 it is coming to a different place. So 7.116. Um, purvadi bhyodava bhyodava. And I think Gita example already gave you, right? Um, again, this is purva, um, uh, purva, para, avara, dakshina, uttara, um, Apara, Adhara, uh, Swa, and the Anyatara. These nine, what will happen is that they take the Smat and Smin substitution for Nyasi and Ni optionally. So like in Gita, we already saw it. Sve Sve Karman Nibhirataha Samsiddhin Labate Naraha. It should have been Swasmin Swasmin, not Sve Sve. But this Purva Adibhyo, Purva Adibhyo, Navabhyo Va. So next time you chant that sutram, I mean the shloka and Gita chapter 18, Sve Sve Karmanya Virataha, Samsiddhin Labhate Naraha. Think of this sutram. Purva Adibhyo Navabhyova, Purva Adibhyo Navabhyova, Purva Adibhyo Navabhyova. Okay, so then Gita, I think that is coming in uh, roughly chapter 18, I would say uh, maybe around 45-ish. Um, yeah, exactly 45, I got lucky here. So Sve Sve Karmanya Virataha Samsiddhin Labhate Naraha. So Gita 18.45 and said, if you know your Gita very well, this is all not foreign to you. Pura Parich, Pura Parichaya Astiyeva. Yadi Gita Ayam Rati Rasti Chet. If you have the Gita knowledge, you will have. So Gita 18.45, think of 7.116, Pura Adi Bhyana Vabhjava. Okay, now let's go back to the book. I think mostly we have done everything now. Okay, um, we'll come back to Ubha Ubha in a second. Let's go to Sarva is all, we got. of course we got that. Um, Pura, Avara, Dakshina, Uttara, Adhara, Para, Apar, Anyatara. This is this 7116. Decline um, like Sarva, um, uh, in the ablative, locked is singular, and neuter, um, this is the, um, this is the 716, is that the Nyasi and um, Nyo will, Nyasi and Ni, Nyasi and Ni will take the smart spin optionally. So that is the ablative Nyasi hub. And the Pratyaya Ni, which is the Saptami Ekvachanam. Uh, and of course, masculine and neuter, that's the smart and spin. Why masculine and neuter only? Because the smart spin now only comes, excuse me, when you have Adantam Angam. Adantam Angam. When he's feeling he'll get the pratya tap, so this will no longer be adantamangam. That's why he only says masculine and neuter. And in normative plural, um, that is because of this um, 1134, 1134, which we just saw. Uh, so these, so this combination that he's put in one line over here. Um, let me just confirm, 1134, um, let me just confirm that he, does he have the, uh, he has pura, para, avara, dakshina, uttara, apara, dharani. Hmm. 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 There is the word thing Hindu. What about this, um, this word anyatara? Can you find it somewhere? Um, when it just follows, where is it? Pura, Apara, Avara, Dakshina, Uttara, Apara, Adharani. Um, that is 34, 35 is the Swa, 36 is Antaram. Um, 
Oh, here it is. Antar outer. Okay, antar outer. This is this one seven one seven one thirty six. So he does have it. I'm sorry. Antar outer. He does have in the book. Okay, not anyatar, but antar. Not anyatar. Yeah. The anyatar, but antar he has. Antar. 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 So antar. So he. So okay. We had gone to. I thought he didn't have it in the book, but he does have it. Okay. So let's go back for one second to again seven one thirty. I mean, sorry, one one thirty six. I thought he didn't have in the book, but he does have it. This antar, not not anyatar, but antar, antara. And he says, antaram bahir yogo pa bahir yogo pa samvyan yoho, which means uh, outside or meaning like a lower garment. In those two meanings, it gets the sarvanam sanya. In those two meanings, it will just like an optional like sarva shabda when just follows. Okay, so that was that was one one thirty six. Now going back to seven one sixteen, seven one sixteen. What does he have? Um, seven one sixteen. We have the uh, purva, uh, para, avara, dakshina, uttara, um, adhara, swa, antara. Yes, yeah, sorry, antara, antara. I was confusing. Okay, not anyatara, but antara, antara. Okay, that's my confusion. Not so. Antara is is is, is coming in seven one sixteen. As well as in seven one thirty six, let me put that in the document here. Um, so, uh, so coming back to uh, okay. So here we have Urvatra Swa is also there. Okay. So let me just put this. So um, okay. So Swa Shabda. Um, So, Shabdaha, we have to look at one one thirty five, along with seven one sixteen. So, one one thirty five in, in just follows, and then one one seven one sixteen talking about the um, smart and smin, and for the antara shabda, not anyatara, but antara uh, antara shabdaha mm -hmm. shabdaha. We have to look at one one thirty six. Uh, and seven one sixteen, and the remaining of these, remaining of these that he has put in the book, they are going to be, I think, one one thirty four, one one thirty four. Yeah, pura para avar dakshina uttar upper adhar. Okay, remaining one one thirty four and seven one sixteen. Remaining. Remaining one one thirty four for oh, seven one sixteen. Again, why did not group them together? Because these have the restriction of meanings. As I told you, one one thirty five is only excludes those two meanings of niyati and dhana, and this also has a specific meaning. So that's why he could not club all of these in one one thirty four, because one one thirty four uh, has, uh, of course, his own meaning thing when he talks about relative position. And not sanyayam. This has its own meaning. This has its own meaning. So he has to keep them separate, separate. So all these three are when just but they are follows. When just follows, okay. But he could not combine them because of the artha bhedaha, the difference in meaning. That's because the pura para avara dakshina uttara para avadharani vivasthayam sanyayam. Then swam adnyati dhanachayam antaram bahir yogo pas samvyan yoho. So that's why this could not be combined. Tasmad ekasmin shloke nirdesh nirdesham kartum me shakyate hum cannot be done in one shloke. Okay, but then in when we come to seven one sixteen, <coughs> you know they take this the smart and smin. When you have the sarvanama sanya, then they take the smart and smin optionally. So seven one sixteen, look at one last time, and then we can finish this section. For, is because anuvutti of sarvanam nasmi is coming sarvanam na. Remember, sarvanam sanya only came in the first place in those those specific meanings. So here you can put in one thing, one shot. You could put purva adibhya navabhyova, because remember, if they don't have that meaning, it doesn't have sarvanam sanya in the first place. There's no question of applying because only sarvanam na. So yasminarthe sarvanam sanya sammavati tasminnevarthe. 
Ang itib siya na ba siya was matinaw. Niya sinyo was matinaw. Okay, let's see what we have left here. Sasa wa sarwa, purwa abara dakshina, all these are going to be 1134 by 7116. The swa is going to be by 1135, 7116. Antara is going to be 1136, 7116. This also we talked about the Arza Alpa Katipaya, 1133, we already looked at that. It's again Jesse, remember this 34, 35 is all Jesse, 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 all all personal numbers and nija. Nija is an adjective, by the way. Nija is not in sarvad in sarvanama. Okay, let's look at after he says it's not a pronoun. So nija is not a sarvanama shabda. Its meaning is is very similar. It's not sarvanama shabda. Remember that. Um, so um, nija is an adjective, not a pronoun. Okay. So same thing. oneself, you know, one sorry, one's own belongs to nijam mapuho, so one's own body and so on. So it's one's own meaning is very similar, but not, um, it's not a sarvanama shabdaha. So nija is not a sarvanama shabdaha. Mm. Meaning is similar to um, swa. So uh, nija uh, shabdaha, the meaning is similar to, uh, similar in meaning, uh, to atmi of to that meaning of swa from swa shabdha like nijam karma so swa swa karmani could have been nijay nijay karmani nijay nijay karmani from could have been possible but importantly it is not from it is not a pronoun from so not in the form um, in Sarvadi Ganaha. So uh, Sarvadi. Uh, if, if you want if you want to avoid the headache of Sarvadi Ganaha, you can just use the uh, Nija instead of the uh, Sarva form. Um, instead of Swa. Instead of Swa, I'm sorry. Instead of Swa. Okay, so this is done. This is done. This is done. Let's talk of Ubhad. So, this is, so Nija yes. will decline like Ramavat, right? Ramavat, Manavat. You know, like that. Uh, nothing to do with none of this. You know, uh, just a she just and smart and sarvanam nasmai. None of those things will come for that. So it will uh, have be sway sway. It will be nijaha nijaha. No nije nije. Nije nije because sway sway can be go because of the seven one sixteen. Right? Because it's right. not optional. So right. if the sway sway so in that in that sway sway karmani. It depends okay. like one shabda there, sway sway. Because of seven one sixteen, the sway sway can be you know. Okay. But it, so it will be nije nije. Like one shabda, like one shabda. Like one shabda. Oh. Nije, but there will be no secondary form. See, sway sway had another form, swaspin swaspin. Swaspin swaspin. Yeah, only because of seven one sixteen it became sway sway. But for nije shabda, there is no question about you know, nije swaspin nije swaspin. There is no such form. Okay. So only only nije nije. Only nije nije. Okay. Um, only one thing. Okay. So, now Ubha and Ubhayo. Ubha is declined in you know Senior Ubhayo or Madhya of course. <laughs> uh, now Ubha means uh, both uh, two items. Senior Ubhayo or Madhya in the middle of both the armies. Now Ubhaya is the both of these are Sarvani and Sarvanayamani. Okay. Uh, this is only declined uh, singular or plural, not the dual. This is controversial, okay. um, bit controversial, some people accept, some people accept, but yes, this is true for the most part, is that it is, you know, not declined in the dual. Now, what is the word Ubhaya? This is Sutram 5.244, 5.244, because how the word Ubhaya is formed, because it is good to know. That which has basically, <coughs> let's see, 5.244, 5.244, um, which has like both parts in it, you know, which has both parts. Um, 
that is why this Ubha is in the Sarvadini Sarvanamani Ubha. Again, we won't go into too much details, but if you want to look up Akach, uh, Akach is by 5371. Uh, it's prescribed before the last syllable of Parona in decline and was without any specific sense to it. So it, it, com it comes after pronouns, you know, um, an indeclinable. So if Ubha was not, um, this you could not use Patya, Akach. Uh, maybe I could put in a document, again, this is not in the book, not very important, but 5371. So, uh, Ubha is listed for um, Ubha is listed in Sarvadini Sarvanamani Ubha Shabdaha. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. In the Sarvadi um, in the Sarvadi um, mm. in order uh, in order for it uh, to take the Akachpratyaha, 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 which is... So, uh -huh. mm. uh, is Akach exactly equivalent of Kapratyaha or not? Akach, no. No, Kapratyaha is only for the compounds, movie compounds. This is after Sarvanama Shabda, Akach. So, it, so it, has, it has nothing to do with Kapratyaha, is it? Nothing to do with Kapratyaha. And, and the cup, no, nothing is completely because here the first is uh, occur. So, so akach. So, if you look at, you know, for now you're talking about, okay, we can we can look at this this five three five three seventy one prati akach, and it's prati akach come before the ti bhaga. Some the strange prati. Normally we say prati ha parashcha, right? But this is a strange prati which come before the ti bhaga. So all the time prati ha parashcha doesn't is is a default thing, of course. But this. Five three seventy one akach prakte from before the T bhagaha. So Avya Sarvanam Nam Akach Prakte. The affix ak 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 um is akach um is 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 fixed prefixed before the last vowel of these words in a sense of in some specific senses. Anyway, so that that is this that is this one. I'll show you where it is. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. But again, the book he has not given it at all, so not into Avya Sarva Nam Nam Akach Prakte Akach. So only the Ak only remains Akach Prakte here because this Ak only the Ak is added Akach. Okay, so that is why the Ubha is in that list. Otherwise, so what else do we have now? Oh, Ubha Ubhaya. Okay, let's see what Shastri said about Ubhaya. Then we go to the last point, and that should finish the lesson for us. Um, Ubhaya Shabdaha. Ubhaya Shabda Sya Dvivachanam Nasti. That's what he's saying. No, um, Dvivachanam. Mm. So that is what I mean. I think she had made a comment somewhere here. So, um, Ubhaya Shabdaha. Dvivachanam Nasti. Uh, okay. Uh, mm. Yeah, he makes a comment that you add the Pratya Ayach, which we just saw, 5244. Vartika kāra kātyāyana anusārena matena. Um, okay, so kātyāyana does say that vivachana prayogam nāsti. Um, okay, uh, it means, uh, so, dvav avajavau yasya, so one which has two parts to it. All right, I think somewhere he had made a comment that this is not, okay, anyway, we'll accept this. So for at least 99% there is no vivachana for ubhaya. Um, but they are both in the list of Sarvadi and Sarvanamani. Uh, last, last point I think we are uh, before the compound start is this one, Dvitiya and Tritiya. We can optionally like Sarva in the dative, ablative, genitive, locative, singular of all genders. Uh, this is the 1136 Vartikam. 1136 Vartikam. Let's look at that Vartikam and that should the last thing of this lesson, 1136 want to come. 1136 want to come. Okay, the last thing, the last line over here. Vibhasha prakarane, tiyasya va mitsu sarvanama sanya iti upasankhyana mitsu. When the pratya is from Nitpratya follows, it takes Sarvanama Sanya optionally. When the Tiya, 
Pratyatiya is comes. So let us just put this in the document. Vibhasha prakarane tiyasta va nityu sarvanam sanya iti upasankhyanam viti yasme viti yaya viti yasme viti yaya. Okay, so when nit pratya. Now the question is that I think in the book he has mentioned also the um, kusamkhyanam. This is the Vatikam on 1136. So what is say when the Pratyatiya? What is Pratyatiya? Let's look at that for one second. We, uh, before we go on, is that um, okay? This five two fifty four fifty five. Uh, so five two fifty four fifty five. Let's let's look at these five two fifty four. How does this this word vitiya vitiya is formed? So five two. But this is what's called as the nth number. You know, tasya purane dat. What Pani calls purane tasya purane dat. So if I see 54, 55, we go to this again, this is not in detail for us today, but 5 to 54, 55, how to form what was called in English as the ordinal numbers, ordinal numbers, okay? And then what point it says, tasya purne dat, tasya dat is prescribed. And there are some exceptions and so on, he goes on. He says, dves tiyaha, dves tiyaha and tres samprasaranancha. So in this Purnarthe, when you mean the nth number, that nth number was called Purne. Purne means that which makes that Sankhya complete, you know, that which completes that number. So in that sense, when it is used, then you have to use Pratyaya, that Tasya Purne, that. But when when you have this uh, um, B and 3 Pratyaya come, then they take a special Pratyaya, which is Tiya, and the, and the um, Three also takes some prasaranam, becomes three, uh, some, of course, some prasarana as usual. Um, so, so that is what is this T is coming. So maybe this, um, if you look at five two fifty four, the, the meaning quickly. So one more time, tasya purane dat means when the when this what well, that which completes the sankhya, which makes that number complete means that is the nth number, nth number. So in that meaning, this three, I'm sorry, dvi dvi will take the pratya T and the Pratya 3 will also take Pratya Tiya, but that has a special thing which it also takes Samsasaranam, Samsasaranam. So the affix Tiya comes in the sense of completer thereof after the word Dvi, so because Dvi Tiya, and in, in, and in case of 3 also it comes, it also takes Samsasaranam, of course Igyana Samsasaranam, Samsasaranacha, Samsasaranacha 61108, so you get the forms Dvitiya, Sitiya. So we'll put that here before here also. Shapurane. Dvitiyodhyaya, Sitiyodhyaya, Sitiya Vibhaktihi, and so on. Right? So Dvitiya, Dvitiya, meaning, meaning second, second uh, comes from 5, uh, 5, 2, 54, and then the, uh, Sitiya, Sitiya comes all from um, Sitiya comes from, I mean, of course, meaning third. Uh, that that comes from five two fifty five, five two fifty five, and also you need some prasarana cha for the pura pariyoho ekadesha is the pura rupam. So Sitiya, right? after I mean pura. So that's how Dvitiya and Tritiya come. What does this say? Vibhasha Prakraneya, Tiyasya, that's what Tiyasya tiya is talking about. Tiyasya, Va Nityu Sarvanama Sanya Iti Upasankhyam Iti Vartika Akaraha. So Vartika Akaraha says that when the Nitratya follows, these will declare an option like a Sarvanama, like Sarva Shabda. So he gives Dvitiyasmai, Dvitiyaya, Dvitiyasmai, Dvitiyaya, so when you, Nitsu means what, which are we referring to now? Is he talking about the Sarvanamana Smai? So, Sarvanamana Smai and also the Nyasi Nyoha Smats, you know, so these. So it become <coughs> Dvitiyaya, Dvitiya, Dvitiya Smai, like Sarva Smai. Ramaya become Dvitiyaya, then Dvitiya Smai, then become Dvitiyat, Dvitiya Smat, then Dvitiye, Dvitiya Smin. Okay? Let's see what he says in the book. Um, decline in the dative. He says genitive also. Um, hmm. And locket is singular. 
ಒಳ್ಳೆ ತಿಂಗ್ ಇಂದು ಜೆನೆಟಿವ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿವ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಸೈ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿವ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿವೇ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯ ರಾಮಸ್ಯ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿವ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಐ ಡಿ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಡಿ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಟಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಗೋ ಐ ಗೆಸ್ ವಿ ಡಿ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿವ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟೇ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಡಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಡನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ನೂ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ ಟುಕ್ ದ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ and give he put the nitsu sarvanama sanyam oh, because of the nitsu nitsu oh. nitsu okay okay so he took that he didn't but, but i think the form will doesn't make a difference at all because uh, okay so that is fine it is it is does have sarvanama sanyam so tasmin vishesha karyam nasti okay we we'll leave it as it is it's fine because the vartikam says nitsu so that that is the nye nyasi nyas and nye but i think it doesn't the form should be the same because rama is here for nesinyo uh, Nisinyoho, it won't be for Shashti though, right? Correct. There is no, no Vishesha Karyam when right. it follows. So, so Nitsu is fine. It will have Sarvanama Sanya optionally when Nitpratya follows. Even when, even when Nyas follows, it will have Sarvanama Sanya optionally. So, hmm. You know what? I should not say that because, okay. It, so, this, this, this statement is, is see, the, the declaration is only one thing, okay? Because like we saw in, in the case of Ubha, right? Because the Pratya Akach was coming, right? so right. so even even though we are talking about you know the sarvanama smai and the nyasinyo smart you know so this is only as far as the supratya are concerned but there might be some other sarvanama you know other karyam sarvanama shabda can take and in vitya oh. we will take that also okay so the okay let's go back to the book so this declension doesn't make a difference in the genitive so will be only like it will be vitya sya in both cases vitya sya but it will have sarvanama sarvanama sanya it will still have the genitive so ah uh, still will make it now it won't make it now i'm sorry it will not make a difference no 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 it will not make a difference i don't think it will make a difference because if the sarvanama sanya comes in genitive or not what difference does it make okay so take this one out for time being the genitive because i don't think it has any so i mean the vartikam is saying it is fine so we can we can keep it from that standpoint because nitsu but nyas pratye pare vishesha karyam nasti there's no vishesha karyam so we'll leave it at that okay but yeah the vartikam does say when the when the when the nye nyasi nyas or ni follows but i don't think there's any vishesha karyam nasti nyas pratye pare there are vitiya stutiya so that ends this this lesson um, next time we will do the homework i think we, i think we got everything i believe uh, and maybe next time what i may do next time or the time after that from um, in fact if you give me if i miss you can give you a so this is the last lesson after this you know we are going to go to going to go to compounds so besides compounds now and the nama dhatava and besides the lung lakara everything has been covered everything besides the lung lakara and the for uh, samasaha and the nama dhatava i think everything else that we have we have covered that so um, you know if you want to just start um, reading up for the next year i would just suggest the following um, is you can read 21 and 22 of ashtadhyayi the the 2122 which is the section where all the compounds are uh, all the com the samas vidhayaka sutra so the second chapter first pada second if you want just do some reading you know if you want just kind of familiar with because it's a small para only has first para only has 72 sutras you know so dvi saptati dvi saptati sutrani from and then the dvitiya pada which has you know um 38 sutras there in the in, in the second para that's so 2122 will be our home base for the next year now one thing you should also do is that in the just i'll give you a couple more sections and we stop for today is in 241 to um we talked about samahara dvandva from 241 to 24 um uh, uh, 17 241 241417 i'll give you two more sections which one was which we already saw i think last class which was the samasa antaha from 
6.3 Uttara Pade. Uttara Pade. What happens to the Pura Padam Uttara Pade Sati? So one more time. 2.1, 2.2, .2, then 241 to 2.417, then 5.468. Okay, you put it maybe a full chair. Um, if you want to, if you want to read up on compounds, these are the main sections. Of course, there'll be some other things here and there. But right now, <coughs> so samasaha, um, samasaha, read uh, two, um, <coughs> two one, two two, then two four one, uh, two two four seventeen, and then uh, five four sixty eight. Samas antaha. What happens at the end of compound special effects to to end of to end of five four. And then also uh, 6.3. Okay, you can read these. Just try to familiarize yourself. If you have Vasu's book, Kasha, Siri, you know, Bahami, Vyacha. So for the next year, it's going to be only this: 2122, two, then 241 to 2417, 5468.54. And this will this will cover most of the items that we need. Most of the we will come over here. Okay. So next time we'll do homework, and then we'll plunge into compounds. So please do some homework for next time. Ramo Rajamani Sadabhijay Te Ramo Brahmesham Vijay Ramo Ena Vyasa Nishatur Chamu Ramo Yatasmai Namaha Ramo Nasti Paranam Parataram Ramo Chidaswa Sumyaham Ramo Chittale Sadabhautame Bho Ramo Mamudhara Ramo Ramo Ti Ramo Ti Ramo Ramo Mano Ramo Sahasra Nama Tasturiyam Ramo Nama Varanane Shri Ramo Nama Varanana Om Namastiyam